the signature characteristic of uh, our, <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'm going to start over. Uh, I'm going to start at I will contrast. Hey, get out of here. That's the most persistent fly I've ever seen. Nice. <laughs> now, where were we? That was yeah. pretty impressive, wasn't it? I got it. I got the second. What do you think, Gibbs? That is very good. It's on. It's right there. It's right there. You want to film that? There it is. And that's why today I am nominating Mary Jo White to lead the Security and Exchange Commission and Richard Cordray to continue leading the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Uh, this guy's bothering me here. As a young girl, Mary Jo White was a big fan of the Hardy Boys. I, I was too, by the way. to present the Chief Justice of the United States, John G. Roberts, Jr., who will administer the pre presidential oath of office. Everyone, please rise. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Barack Hussein Obama, do solemnly swear and Obama do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States the office of President of the United States and will to the best of my ability and will to the best of my ability preserve, protect, and defend preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States the Constitution of the United States so help you God so help me God congratulations Mr. President The Obama administration has suggested using an executive order to bypass Congress if it can't get the gun control measures it wants. GOP Senator Rand Paul told CBN News that members of Congress are prepared to fight such an order. I'm against having a king. I'm against having a king. I'm against having a king. I think having a monarch is what we fought the American Revolution over. And someone who wants to bypass the Constitution, bypass Congress, that's someone who wants to act like a king or a monarch. That's someone who wants to act like a king or a monarch. That's someone who wants to act like a king or a monarch. I've been opposed to executive orders, even on, with Republican president, but one that wants to infringe on the Second Amendment, we will fight tooth and nail, and I promise you there'll be no rock left unturned as far as trying to stop him from usurping the Constitution, running roughshod over Congress.
All right, everyone, here is an exclusive from a very reliable news source, World Net Daily. Look at the headline, and I'll put the link below. Is Obama Biblical Lord of the Flies? Let me begin this video real quick by stating to my Christian brothers and sisters and to those of you that follow my channel that maybe you are a non-believer, but you're a patriot. Now, a lot of people are asking my quest for the truth into what took place in Sandy Hook, at Sandy Hook Elementary School, Newtown, Connecticut. What does it have to do, really, with end-time Bible prophecy? What I'm doing, and I'm showing believer, non-believer, the sense of the sense of urgency to prepare for what is about to fall on this earth, and it's going to happen. It's going to happen very quickly. It's all tied in with end-time Bible prophecy. What's known as the time of Jacob's trouble is upon us all. It is the Great Tribulation. You want to know how Sandy Hook Elementary School, how this ties in and what is the ending of the story? It's in this book. The, and it's in the back pages, the book of Revelation. Now, is Obama biblical, Lord of the Flies? Let's tie this in with end time Bible prophecy. Here's how close we are. We have now Assad declaring that he vows to see the fall of Damascus, Isaiah 17. Everything is lining up for the church to be removed, the true church, the Church of Philadelphia, the believers, to be hauled out of here. And the rest of you that have not repented and have not called upon Yeshua, the Messiah, to save you, you are going to be left here to face what is about to come upon the whole earth. Is Obama, Biblical, Lord of the Flies. This is coming out of Jerusalem. Play, uh, pay close attention. Jerusalem prophecy websites are having a field day with the worldwide attention President Obama is getting for sparring with a fly yesterday. News reports have recounted uh, Obama's history of attracting flies during recorded interviews and speeches. Already, religious and other websites are using the headlines to point out but a biblical reference for Satan. The Semitic deity Beelzebub literally translates from Hebrew into Lord of the Flies. As Obama nominated two new members of his second administration yesterday, a swarming fly stole the show. You're looking for signs. The watchmen are on the rooftop. They're watching. And here is another sign of end time Bible prophecy. The guy is this guy is bothering me said Obama who repeatedly swatted at a large black fly buzzing near his face the London Telegraph noted a White House pool report said the president spoke for about five minutes while being menaced by a giant black housefly Joel Richardson's Mideast Beast completes the scriptural uh, case for an Islamic Antichrist made in his New York Times bestseller. This was not the president's first brush with a fly while the cameras were rolling. In 2010, Obama halted a speech about health care reform as a fly zipped around him. During a June 2009 CNBC interview, Obama killed a fly on camera. Get out of here, the president said with his eyes on the fly before the interview began. When the fly persisted, he killed it with a single blow. That was, that was pretty impressive, wasn't it, said Obama, of his feet. I got the sucker. In a 2008 campaign appearance, Obama halted a local interview after a swarm of flies, a swarm, a plague, a swarm of flies had gathered around him. Lord of the flies, these flies are swarming. They're buzzing around this man. Those reacting to, those rather reaching to connect Obama's fly troubles with the darkest biblical references won't have much difficulty. One name commonly used to refer to Satan is Beelzebub, which translates from Hebrew into Lord of the Flies. A posting at the popular Free Republic web forum discusses Beelzebub and asks, Is the White House fly infestation evidence of a demonic presence? and influence there. The end time blog named Obama the Lord of 
the flies. There's more to the story. I'm going to put the link below. Barack H. Obama constantly being surrounded and menaced by flies. Is he the biblical Lord of the flies? If you have not accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I urge you to call upon him right now to save you. Watchmen, stand on the rooftops and sound the alarm. Sound the alarm. King Jesus, the Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach, make the way for the Messiah in your time. Hey guys, what's up? Blaine Cooper here. This is the trippiest thing I've ever seen, you guys. There's no way I'm living in this time. Um, you know, I can't say this with like 100% certainty, but Obama is the Antichrist. I'm telling you guys, he's the guy. Um, I really believe that. Listen to this, you guys. Remember, the Antichrist made a direct seven-year peace treaty with Israel, and that is the covenant between the Antichrist and Israel, and he breaks that covenant, covenant three years into it, and stands in a holy place and declares himself God. But uh, listen to this, because I think this is pretty interesting, okay? Addressing World Economic Forum in Davos, Jordanian King Abdul II calls on international community to end Palestinian-Israeli conflict once and for all. Says the time to take action in the Middle East is now. Now listen, this is very interesting. If we're not too late, the two-state solution will only last as long as U.S. President Barack Obama's term, he warned. If it doesn't happen by then, I don't think it'll happen. Dude, what's that tell you? The Palestinians must be granted their rights to their own future, Abdullah said, as he called upon the international community to end this conflict once and for all. I'll put the link in the description, you guys. That is spooky. So he's calling for President Barack Obama to get some kind of peace treaty in place now because he says it will not take place after his term. He's the guy. He is the guy. Share this with everybody. Have a good day.